What is up everyone? Today we are zooming in on men's skirts. Because this garment has been a major fall winter fashion trend, figured would be interesting to check out few pieces from bigger brands and designers. And guys, this will be also included in the fall winter fashion trends video, which is coming very soon. All right, men's skirts are certainly nothing new. They have been around for a while now. This season, their popularity reached a whole new level. Once again, with this trend, designers try to liberate men and give them an option to select clothes that simply resonates with their personality. At Dior, Kim Jones unveiled a wide range of tweed kilts. They came styled with mid calf high socks, picking over leather boots. With this collection, Kim Jones tried to capture a continuous change and movement in Dior's history, in particular the era after the death of Monsieur Dior and its rejuvenation with In Salaro, his chosen heir. At Gucci, skirts go longer and grungier. We see here Gucci design team experimenting with grungy accents and retro style. Gucci skirts featured a front slit detail and they were styled with loose socks and furry loafers, giving the whole outfit that effortless stylish vibe. Compared to Gucci, skirts at Fendi looked more elegant and chic. In fact, they were more like skirt capes, highly inspired by nightlife and 70s disco. At Givenchy, men's skirts were highly influenced by workwear. Here, skirts are reimagined as shorts with inner slits on both sides. This bold and daring collection from Matthew Williams explored everything from classic tailoring to streetwear. When it comes to men's skirts, the biggest and best selection was found at Rick Owens. The runway was populated with black, below the knee skirts, styled with new edition of Kiss Boots. Another take on men's skirts included denim midi A-line skirts featuring a shredded and frayed hem. Others were lengthier, totally stained. As Rick explained, these skirts are in 18 ounce Japanese indigo sandwich denim. At Jill Zander, skirts over pants ruled the runway. Those minimalist and monochromatic outfits resembled three-piece futuristic uniforms. The designer duo further elevated the looks by introducing handbags and chunky necklaces into the outfits, giving those looks a glamorous spin. At the Etro, Marco De Vincenzo unveiled a wide array of long kills in various patterns, mostly tartan. Using tartan fabric was a nod from the designer to the Etro's legacy and roots. Here, tartan kilts are styled with riveted platform shoes and loose mid-calf high socks. Skirts trend infiltrated the runway also at Y Project. Here all denim outfits featured rectangular denim panels attached to the jacket and pants with snap buttons, giving the illusion that the models were wearing skirts over denim pants. Ed Maynard tweaked the classics by turning traditionally tailored outwear into a crop jacket and skirt combo. This collection was full of interesting pieces and the construction of the silhouettes was super amazing. At Kiko Konstantinov, skirts get more feminine and colorful. The Bulgarian designer explained backstage that in terms of inspiration, he imagined a group of schoolboys who were invited to create collection for themselves, but whose research material was based on four unsung influences from the women's wear design. Last but not least, let's have a look at Comme des Garçons Homme Plus. Here the asymmetrical black skirts were combined with a cape-looking tops with extremely wide and pointy shoulders. Furthermore, we saw a series of looks in checked pattern that cloaked the arms and featured extra limbs. Here once again we see a legend, Rei Kawakubo, disrupting the notion of tailoring and its conventional anatomy. Alright guys, that was it for today. Hope you enjoyed this short video. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.